Hello, in this one, it's my week in progress. I recrafted all of my items. I managed to drop a high base level Septa from the Serpent. And they started blasting 150 level maps under 3 minutes. So let's get into it. Started with a helmet. Wanted an Acubin Authority. With the prefix for enhanced skill rune cooldown recovery speed. Dodge multiplier, HP multiplier. Didn't took too long to get these. So this was basically my first item that I will have to transfer. After that, I did my gloves. I went for Mirror City gloves. I needed call damage, attack speed, and uh, HP, but I actually picked up uh, Hit Rate. Hit Rate is a good offensive node right now, just because there are maps are so high level, you need more Hit Rate, basically. On the second helmet, I went for Caprice Authority for Enhanced Kill Rune Effect. Only needed the base. Same with the gloves, went for Quilla for attack speed on the suffix. Transferred those, I used uh, the new transfer, fixed prefix transfer, but that's not good. Cause it only transfers uh, one prefix, so it's not necessarily gonna transfer the whole prefix, and it basically doesn't give you any value, it just costs more. But for the testing purpose I did that, of course I transferred my gloves for Quillas. So I could start crafting my suffixes, started, cr started crafting my Capri suffix on the helmet for enhanced skill one effect. Didn't take me too long to get it. I only needed that one or, and some resistances. I always aim for resistances, especially when I play in hardcore. Didn't want to craft super offensive helmets, only enhanced skill one effect and then some resistances. After every single craft, when you're done with your authority crafting, of course, you want to go for some quality. Got 23, got really lucky with this one, was happy, and then I rolled some values. I mean, for sure, I want the highest values on my enhanced skill room effect and enhanced skill room cooldown recovery speed. Those are offensive ones and the most needed ones. Hit leggy, didn't get anything good. Same with the gloves, started crafting suffix, because this is basically an... Aquila, so I needed attack speed amplification. Didn't took me long to get it. Then I went for Vespa. Of course, I want as much as high tier on attack speed amplification and high tier on call damage flat. Those are the main ones. Got it pretty fast. Didn't want to, to invest too much Vespas because still I'm gonna recraft this later. Again, just some values reroll. And then doing the leggy. On the leggy one, didn't get anything good. Of course, some modifications for the quality. 19 was okay. Did one reverse. On the another one, got reflect damage, taking the crease, which is nice. Then did some alchemy crafting. What I wanted to get is basically more call damage, more offensive roll. Didn't, I actually needed the attack speed, but call damage flat is worth much more. Got that one after a few clicks. For the helmet, I was basically aiming for overpower or sharpness. Managed to get overpower, so I just kept it. Didn't there was no reason to roll. Another craft that I did was my chest. Chest was kind of necessary for me because I want immunity to reflect damage, and on boreal authority. You can roll attack damage skill rune levels, which is really good for the frost strike. At the same time, you can roll some reflect damage shaking decrease on the suffix. As I'm not aiming for offensive suffixes, reflect damage shaking decrease is a good quality of life for me. As I don't need to identify any more cards in the hardcore. After that, I went for some ring craft because my three hoops was just not good enough. I was aiming for picker one for totem duration. Because you can recramp totem duration into skill rune effect. I went to transfer my ring to caster. Because on the caster ring, on the suffix, you can get um, overpower. But I didn't manage to get it. I just crafted really easy attack critical rate critical damage. Then used some Vespas. Crafted my totem duration into skill rune effect. Which is a huge damage increase, especially late into the game. This one actually took me quite a bit, and I used quite a bit of essences, but I got it. 
After that, I went for leggy, but my leggies are always not good. Got HP and minion damage, which means basically nothing. After that, just some quality rolls on my chest for more armor, basically. Even though, even right now, like 6k armor on the chest is not a lot. After that, one for leggy. My leggy on the armor was not bad. I got HP, which was really good. Because that means I can remove some HP from my other items or from my zodiacs. I was thinking about crafting overpower, but I didn't need overpower, so I just went for more armor. It was not a bad choice. After that, I did my shoulders, which is pick authority. It's just a single authority craft with some dodge rate, chaos resist, and some HP. After that, I straight went for the suffix. For the suffix again, my resistances were kind of bad, so main point for me is just to get correct resistances, and then whatever I can get. Managed to craft hit rate, which is an offensive roll. You can reroll that into more damage or just keep the hit rate. Of course, suffix, because I want that high roll on the chaos resist, and I would prefer high roll on dodge rate, because I'm running a little bit of mixed, a little bit of armor, a little bit of dodge. Because I kept my do my armor basically with Shadow Provocation and Bulwark of Protection, which is enough. Only took me a few clicks to get some damage on the hit rate. Was thinking about getting something better, but didn't want to waste too much star memories. Because I didn't have Tria maps, so I had to keep the damage roll basically. Which is okay, which is... And I rolled it at tier 10, which is really good. After all the upgrades... I immediately went to do 155 Serpents, cause that's the main idea. Whenever you craft damage upgrades, you go to do high level boss map to drop a high level basis. So crafting would be easier. I mean, it's easier to roll the high tier affixes on those items. So it makes more sense to invest Vespers into those. I killed quite a bunch of those. It was not one, I think it was around 10 or so. I dropped my Scepter. I wanted Axe, but I couldn't get it, so I just kept Scepter. But on a critical build, a low critical base is not a good idea, even though I have Caster Refraction Ring, but that's a low tier one. But I had to keep it. There was no reason for me to try to get it something better, because I could die on that Serpent, I, I didn't want to lose my life. So what I went for, I used some Alyssus, I picked up additional Lightning Damage, basically that one, I can remove my Zodiac Points and pick up something instead of additional lightning damage. Then of course, attack spell damage, flat. And on the last roll, I managed to get uh, fire damage, which is not ideal, but I can recrab that one. And they went straight into Vespers, because they knew this weapon is gonna be a huge upgrade for me. And at the same time, I can craft shield also, as Scepter from the last video has a little bit better hit rate on the Shadow Warrior link, so it was just easy choice for me at this point. Just some Vespas to get higher tier rolls. I was aiming for get a critical rate and attack and spell damage multiplier. Those two has to be high tier rolls, otherwise it's not gonna be a good craft. Use quite a bit of those, but this is what I end up with. Then of course using the Change essences to roll the values on the item itself. Just looking for the highest possible, but not wasting too much time. After that, went into shield craft. What I wanted is damage taken decrease on the prefix. Then some armor multiply and HP. I got all of those. I vespered those. And I started crafting suffix. I didn't want to do any authority ones. I really didn't know what they want from the authority shield. So my main point was just to pick up damage taken decrease on the prefix and on the suffix, craft something that can fix my resistances. And if I can get some offensive roll, that would be also good. So this is what I end up with. Some chaos res, lightning res, and block recovery speed. Nothing too crazy, but it was okay. Then I went to quality my weapon, which is necessary. Just go as high as you can on the weapons. It increases damage by quite a lot. Ended up at, at 19, didn't want to invest too much. Same did with my shield, just to get a little bit more armor. Roll 21, which is crazy actually. And after that, I went to 
on the crafting table to reroll fire damage into cold damage. Took me quite a bit of materials, but hey, it's definitely worth it. And I even rolled TF 13 cold damage, which is crazy good. That was insane amount of damage increase. On the shield, I went to leggy shield, didn't get anything too crazy, immune to bleed, enhanced the rune levels, didn't want to use any reversions, would, would have been a bad idea. On the Scepter, I got Cold Pen, but I was already capped on Cold Pen, so it didn't increase my damage a lot. After those, I basically started grinding some Exodia maps. I had so many because I didn't do any at all, and I had to get back my basically crafting mats so I could prep for my next crafting session. So just a bunch of Exodia maps. Started doing some constellations also. Spec stones themselves, they don't give too much damage unless you get really lucky. But at the same time, you can get like free attack speed, you can get a lot of hit rate on the rolls or a lot of HP when you engrave your, your stones. So just any Zodiac stones is a good idea to have, especially at this stage, when I started doing 150 maps basically. So Zodiacs, it was time for those. After that, went into Yunos. I, need, I really needed jewels. I did do some jewels on my items. But they are just simple blue, red, and green jewels to get a little bit more damage, nothing too crazy. And after all of those crafts, I basically started doing 150 maps. And that's where I ended my... This was, pro this was basically 4 day progress for me. So it took me quite a lot, but I was not playing too much. Didn't have too much time, but yeah. Right now, I'm just pumping 150 maps. 150 maps is a nice breakpoint because this is basically the first map levels that starts dropping uniques. So I'm gonna stay on those for quite a bit until I can hit uh, 155s, which is at 155s you can drop any unique in the game basically. So this is what I have right now. So Septa, I did one reversion, got damage against elites, not gonna invest anymore. On jewels, as I said, I'm using red, greens, and um, blues. I picked up some melee damage. On helmet, I picked up some HP. On shoulders, elemental damage. On chest, some HP again. I really love to be like a 20 or close to 20k HP. I think being less is not a good choice. For gloves, again melee damage. For boots, I went for humidity. For cold damage plus cold resist, because I needed just a tiny bit cold resistance, and 44 cold damage multiplier is not a bad idea. On the shield, I went area damage, because sometimes I just don't reroll my jewels. If I have green jewel, I'm gonna use something on the green jewel. This is where I invested a little bit more. I went for white and blue. I only needed white, and any other jewel was alright for me. I managed to get blue one. I went for cheap tricks, of course attack speed plus HP, really nice one. For my belt, I went natural ignition, elemental damage and elemental damage chicken dampening. I needed a little bit of attack speed, so I rolled the green one, picked up attack speed. On my other ring, hands quicker than light, just a good one for attack speed again, strike damage, red one. And on my crafted ring, I just went for some area damage and elemental damage, basically damage multipliers. I'm not using any black jewels, I have like maybe one or two. I think in my case it's a little bit too early to use go good uh, jewels right now, because I know these items are gonna be re recrafted really soon. On my skill board, I did a few changes. Basically what I'm doing right now, I switched to shield charge, I have momentum. Momentum is basically damaging and dampening, but you have to use it uh, quite often. Reverse time, sometimes it can save your life on Hardcore. And whenever you proc it, you get extra chaos rest plus extra movement speed. For Toggle, I went Counter Attack. Counter Attack was really nicely buffed. So picked up that one. I'm basically extracting energies, uh, Earth energies for some attack damage multiplier. On Illusion Axe, I went for Center of Gravity. Basically, Center of Gravity is a global buff. It does not apply only to my Illusion Axe, it applies to me. And I went for Verity Awakening, so whenever I move, I get a damage buff. I don't need damage buff when I'm standing, 
because I'm not doing, I'm not trying to get as much damage on the training arena. And most of the times in fights against bosses, you're still moving. So I think awakening it to Verity and getting a little bit more damage multi when you're moving is better. I switched to Seal of Striking just because I didn't need intellect anymore, intelligence anymore. So, and strike damage amplification later into the game is better than just elemental damage multiplier on the condensed elements. That would be it. Oh, I did change my focus into focus at strike only because I still lack quite a bit of attack speed. And focus at strike is not really that bad link if you need a little bit of attack speed and then quite a bit of damage jump on third strike. Uh, it was a decent damage upgrade for me. It was like 8% overall damage upgrade, so I had to pick this up. I'm using concentrated area damage, but whenever I start doing 155 maps and I have quite a bit of damage, I'm probably gonna switch to area effect just to make my frost strike much bigger. But if I switch to area effect and they can't no longer do 155 maps, I'm not gonna use it. Only use it when you're already doing high level maps and losing a good offensive link rune doesn't make you do lower maps. Still using confidence, but that one will have to change anytime soon. Anytime I drop 160 or 161 level base is either Axe or Scepter on my weapon, I'm gonna switch out of confidence. This is my damage right now, I can show that. After all the upgrades, I got quite a few Zodiac Stones, but none of those have any offensive rolls. It's just extra hit rate or just a bunch of HP. But yeah, this is where I'm at right now. This is my damage. I'm not using any buffs. No guild buffs, no potions, nothing. This is just straight up mapping damage for me with Fighter's Wrath. And I think... On this one, this is everything I wanted to show. I'm still gonna keep grinding. My immediate point of upgrade right now is Chaos Star. Because I'm still using T8 Chaos Star and my blessings are all over the place. Whenever I fix my Chaos Star, I think I'm gonna be ready to do 161 maps for the base, for the weapon drop, basically. But yeah, GG's. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.